Everybody's trying to get me to say B, but I got to get Drew to say B on national television on Marie Claire. Hi, I'm Helena York. And I'm Drew Tarver. And we're playing How Well Do You Know Your Co Star? For Marie Claire. There we go. Okay, Drew, you go first. <laughs> okay. My mom was in an all-female Christian singing group mm -hmm. called Four Women, One Jesus. Seraphim, which I think is like angels, means angels in Latin. Disciplets. Okay. Or baptized in my bikini. <laughs> Well, my instinct is to say the weird thing in Latin because you don't know how to say it and it feels the most real. And the other three but feels- But wouldn't like I know most... how to say it? Four if... women, one Jesus is an invention. <laughs> no, not necessarily. That's- Baptism in my bikini. It was it baptism in my bikini. That's what you think it is. No, so no, it's no, kind no. of- No, 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 your mom playful. would not be, you know. I know your mom and she would not be in baptism in my bikini. I think it's the Latin one. You're right. It was Sarah. Yes! <laughs> you nailed it. Of course. But well, it could have been four women and one Jesus. Something to it. Four women and one Jesus was my second guess, but I also okay. was like, it's too... It had my stink on it. Yeah, it had your... Everything else stank like you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is my favorite part of your personality? Oh, God. A. All the bits you do all day long, every hour you're awake. Okay, that sounds like it's a not favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that you sleep till 2 p.m. and your phone is always set to do not disturb. <laughs> okay, no, this is untrue. Or C, that you're so funny and you always make me want to be a better person. Okay. You know, <laughs> you really you really 180 there at the end and you got me and you've yeah. made it sweet. I think I'm going to say it's d all of the above because <laughs> you love the that the, the things that you also hate you added d and i think it's fair and i'm going to give you yeah. d it was c but it's also d like in my defense i typically only sleep till noon noon what disgusting thing do i eat daily melted protein bar expired condiments Undercooked sweet potato fries, hot water bottle from the car trunk, or all of the above? Uh, all of the above? All of the above. It is all of the above. <laughs> Without hesitation? It is all of the above. They expire, they don't expire. They're just doing it to make you spend more money. That sounds like a conspiracy that's... theory. Spread it. They're doing it. To... That's is what my that... mother would say. Is that true? Because my mustard stinks. Maybe you should toss that. <laughs> You like you, but I like a moldy ketchup. It adds like a nice little blue cheese essence. Oh to it. yeah, I like my ketchup to have green, so it's like Christmas colors. <laughs> okay, if I could go one place right now, where would it be? Okay. A, coastal Italy. B, the Maldives. C, dinner. <laughs> okay, funny. Obviously. You're the queen of dinner. <laughs> um, you have your own crown. Everybody's seen you in New York. Like that's the queen of dinner. That's M Mrs. Mrs. Reservation. I want to go to coastal Italy with you because I know we would eat amazing, but I think it's right now. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go right now? Dinner. dinner. <laughs> <laughs> No, Helena's good at dinner. I know that sounds vague, but it's. I go specific. to dinner in coastal Italy. That actually sounds like a great idea. Do we plan that? Guys, we got to leave. Got to plan a trip. What am I never doing again as an adult? Paying my taxes, <laughs> talking to my parents, eating vegetables, roller coasters. Okay, I know it's not not paying your taxes because you are very I'm, financial. Responsible. We've had these conversations many times. I, I, I am good at that. Baby likes to save and buy treasuries. 
Mm-hmm. Um, it's not not talk to your parents because you could never get away with that. You and your family are so close. We love each other. We love each I other. I know you're going to eat vegetables again because you're going to go to dinner with me. You make me <laughs> eat my and vegetables. And I'm going to you. Yep. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's roller coasters. What happened? I can't do it. I can't like have a headache at Six Flags anymore. It's like, do you want to go to a hot amusement park and get in like seven minor car accidents? You know, that because that's what it feels like. I don't like. want to do anything. I don't even want to take my own child to Disney. Okay, what was my favorite song in 1997? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Semi-charmed kind of life. Okay. <laughs> Your delivery is on point, as it is this season in every episode. I don't think you were like a Hanson girl. I don't know. I feel I was. Like... Don't you remember when we played it at our wedding and it killed? Right, right, right. Is it similar to kind of life? No, like. Similar to kind of life. A baby, a baby. I just want. I think because you are very much not a a bee. You. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. You get me to say the B word. I'm not going to do it. I'm not falling for it. You're going to say it. Days and. Uh, I, everybody's trying to get me to say B, but you I got to get Drew to say B on national television on Marie Claire. <laughs> I think you like to listen to that to um, to kind of like live out a fantasy that you're not. So you think it's it is okay. Okay, I got it. What's my favorite form of entertainment? Prestige, HBO dramas and comedies, Oscar films, celebrated albums from musical guests, two hours straight of TikTok videos while while I fall asleep at 1.45 a.m. Two hours of TikTok videos while you fall asleep at 1.45 a.m. What keeps me up at night? What am I doing with my life? Where did I put that thing that's worth a lot slash has deep personal meaning? Or <laughs> Why did I say that thing to that person at that one time at that party? All of them. It is, it's all of them. Next one. What's the name of the small town I grew up in in rural Georgia? I can't even say rural. Glenville, Gooseneck, Hog Island, Gum Branch. Oh, f- I thought it was, I thought I knew which one. Oh, f- Oh, honey, I don't know. Isn't it these hog? Are all, these are all real, by the way. I know. I within, think you're... within miles of my house. It is Glenville. It's kind of like the boring one. But That's I'm the... close to Gooseneck. I'm close to Hog Island. And I'm close to Gum Branch. <laughs> OK. What made me want to move to New York? A, the energy. B, the people. C, Felicity. <laughs> Felicity. <laughs> Drew won. It's fine. No, no, no. If I would have said the B word, I would have won. Getting to know Drew was so easy. It feels like we, and you know, it's like an automatic person who's your person. Yeah, that's, it it is, you get a lot of, you know, time in between takes. But I mean, from the second we met at our screen test, I felt a warmth from Helena that like, she immediately puts off with everyone. And it's very easy to do scenes and and replicate that in a show um, because we had it pretty quickly outside of work. We get pulled apart a lot in work doing our own different storylines. And when we come back together, it's almost like we're like getting a little reunion. We're, We're so excited and you can kind of like see that, I think in the scenes when we're like doing scenes together. Guys, thank you so much for what. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Make sure you watch the new season of The Other Two, which comes out on HBO Max May 4th. And be sure to subscribe to Marie Claire.